Yay, more reading. In my darkest hours. Oh boy. It is only music that saves me. Oh, you like music, huh? Is there a heart in the world that can my coochie pink, my booty hole brown? What did you just do? <laughs> Oh no. It is not a broken barrel. It is a Luciferian counterpart. Mortal. What if they're right? What if I'm wrong? What if the best of my story was laid out? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's the reclusive one here, or the reclusive gamer, and I'm checking out a game called Ad Infinitum. Have no idea what that means. I suspect Bruh. it is Latin for... People do this kind of thing as a joke. They think it's funny. You think you're funny? Here we go again. If you could change one thing in the world, what would you change? 40-year-old Dan Mora suffers from a mysterious medical condition that has taken over his life. Hi guys, we are Emily. How are y'all doing? We are also the Beast. We are also Jack. Bruh. Bruh. What did you just do? Something. <laughs> Maybe means infinite ads, like ad revenue. Do you think you're funny? Okay, I'm just trying to be funny. Oh, what a loser! You have no idea who I am. That is so gay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Anyhow, uh, it's a, yeah, uh, it's a horror game that takes place, I'm guessing, World War II during a Z Nazi era. Yeah, this guy looks like a Nazi. Look at this. He got that Maltese cross as a medal right there. There he is. He looks like a Eric Von Scheise. I don't know if that's his name, but he looks like a Scheise. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, the performance is... Eh. It looks good, though. It looks great. It was a hassle to get this running. Uh, most of the games that run on the Unreal Engine VR injector only seem to run on OpenVR. And if you're using a MetaQuest 3, you have to use the Oculus Link cable. I tried virtual desktop, which is my preferred method, but I can never get UE VR games to work with it. So I have to use the Link cable. So if anybody's watching this, if you want to know which method to use, I would suggest using the Link cable. I haven't tried any other method, like the Air Link or anything like that, but... If it works in a link cable, I'm just going to use that. It's direct connection, directly connected to PC. All right, here goes. Let's see if I can. Okay, it works. It says, for months, you've cursed your hours spent staring at these tables. Now you wish you could, what? Stay something. Okay. Here we go. Uh, look around. Ah. It's a pencil. They have no body. I just have arms. Uh-oh. Who's calling me? I can't pick it up. Oh, that's cool. It's Morse code. Working ground. All right, what do I do? What do I do? Your diary, you've never left that out of your sight. Take. Moving. Okay. This is a map. They want you to storm the French trenches. You pray you're wrong, but it feels like a death sentence. If you're ready for help instead of fighting, you'll be arrested for desertion. Looks like someone's been repairing something here. It's a shame you don't understand all that tentacle stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Is that blood? You wanted to send a postcard home, but you couldn't find the right words to write. Now it's too late. Tom! The Leutnant's sending us over the top. The whole company. Come on! Get ready! Oh, sweet. Bolt action rifle. Wow, this looks pretty cool. It's a 98 model loaded safety off. Rotate. Zoom. All right, take it. Ah. Oh, it's, it's aligned very nicely, actually. Very nice. Ooh. It's got kick to it. Wait. My arms are kind of funny, though. Alright, let me... Yo, this looks really good. First platoon awaiting orders, sir. Gespert Zoom Trotter Chong. What does that say? Seinfeld? <laughs> Muddy path.
him. Dude's having a bad day. A barbed wire in my friggin' face. Like, literally in my face. What the hell? Soundtrack is really good in this. I like it. Ad infinitum. Photo of a military company. Okay, everyone's faces is like kind of smudged, smudged out. Weird. I can't read that. I have no idea what that shit says. All right, matches. Take. Yo, the 3D is really good in this. Very nice. Wow. Very impressive. Ooh. Is that a shotgun? Gimme. Toy gun? Ah. Johannes breathing heavily. That's a nice knife. Can I take it? Give your brother his dagger back. I'm sorry, Paul. I... Now get out, you dirty little thief. You're no son of mine. Oh, where have I heard that before? <laughs> Look at it. He's not. Nothing's happening here. A gift from the great general. Damn. These curtains look so friggin' real. It's so bizarre being able to see these objects so up close like this. a copy of the Morse code alphabet I made for you. You probably know it from school. It's a language all its own, which I now speak fluently. Thankfully, my telegraph shelter is in a safe location, something that's already saved my life twice. I'll be on leave again soon. Will I see you this time? Or will it just be mother again? Please. Take good care of her. Your brother. To our future hero, they said he could fly blindfolded. 
All right. That is it. Let me get out of here. See how big this place is. It's a cog. A heavy cog. Smells of oil. Letter. Elevator. Berlin. October 4th, 1918. Subject. Installation of an elevator system. Dear Director General von Schmidt, the work will be completed by the end of the week and build in-house. E. Grubert, Deputy Director. Carl von Schmidt and Company, Paint Factories, Berlin. The way up to the attic is blocked. A repulsive stench assaults your nostrils. Mm hmm. I wonder what that could be. Nothing happens. An elevator up to the attic. It must be new. You wonder what's up there. Hold on a second. I want to try something. Uh, where is it? Down here. Um, is it input? No. no. Camera. Okay. Decoupled pitch. That's what I want. Okay. I can't look down now with the stick, but I have to use my head. Which makes sense. I, I kind of like that. Oh, he's got a weird wobble. Why is he wobbling left and right like that? Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna have to enable. Or disable, I mean. Here it is. Okay. I feel worse with every day that passes. Please, Mother of Mercy, help me. I can't bear another injection. His father, his society, his poison. He says I am mad. He says the cuckoo is my son. But I know what I know. They've taken everything from me. My children. My language. Even my name. He threw my Bible on the fire and smashed your <clears throat> statues. Sacrilegious, how dare he. They can never take you away from me, Mother of Mercy. Mother of Sorrows. A weird looking phone. What was that way? Okay. Just trying to get a general idea of how big this place is. See how many rooms there are. I'm trying to keep like a mental note. Or kind of trying to map out the place getting a feel for its architecture and why am I you know why am I explaining myself I have no idea I tend to talk to myself a lot don't mind me
Okay, he's not doing that left, right, left, right. Kind of weird wobble anymore, at least. It's because I had the uh, decoupled pitch disabled. Let's keep it on. I'd rather kind of look up and down with my right stick, anyways. Sometimes I just I'm too lazy to with my with the, my head physically. Wait a minute. Okay, I was here. This is where I came from. Oh boy, here we go. Uh oh. Oh man. I don't know if I can play this game. I hate this shit. Whoa. You sense that the charms are meant to keep evil at bay. So why does looking at them make you feel nauseous? There we got a crucifix. And I don't know what that's supposed to be. Another depiction of Mary, of course. Aufsung Rufen. The reflection looks kind of weird. The glasses. All right, picture a mother. Mother. When you were young, she would spend every day into in the winter garden until grandfather came to live with you, that is. Carl has become as cruel as his father. I can speak neither of the war nor of my lost sons. I am not even permitted in their rooms. The rooms of my own sons! <laughs> I'm not permitted to exist. What the fuck was that? Okay. Exist at all. If only I were dead too. Mm, you're not the only one. Evidently so. <laughs> right. Oh, that's a creepy looking Mary. Painting. Mata Dolorosa. Dolorosa. What a strange painting. You never saw a mother the way he did. I hope these are like collectibles. Is that bird alive? Oh, it's a mechanical bird. What is this? Orchestrian music role. Oh, take that. A march written in honor of our great general. Lothar von Schmidt. Dearest mother, when I hear the cannon's thunder, I can no longer be angry with father. Instead, I worry for all of you. Have you heard from Paul at all? He hasn't replied to a single one of my letters. Johannes. Yeah, the graphics are really nice. Oh, jeez. Saint Balbine, or Balbine postcard in French. Little sister, how are you? We went to Berlin to visit you, but the maid turned us away. There was an old man shouting in German. 
but I couldn't understand what he was saying. Did we go to the wrong address? Why do you never write anymore? Did you get the singing bird? I remember how we used to sing in the square in front of the church and marvel at the little golden birds in the window by Mother and Father's Cafe. If things had become unbearable, please come back home to us. How are the children faring? Please write. St. Balbine, May 3rd, 1908. Julie. Mother used to lie here for days, crying. Ooh. Sounds like a well-adjusted woman. Oh, that's a creepy-looking doll. Oh! That was that. You know, the aesthetics, this has a layers of fear kind of vibe to it. I wouldn't be surprised if they if they use the same assets. Wait, stop. There is mother. Go. Mommy. I'm glad that you have at least survived the cold weather. But I know how scarce food has become at home. <sighs> it would be best if we just surrendered. But I'm sure father doesn't want to hear such talk. Daddy. He probably. <coughs> you are skating good at that. You sure he isn't gay? He thinks that the war will bring him glory and honor, just like grandfather. Granddaddy. Glory and honor <coughs> perished in the very first. All right, I'll stop. I swear. I promise. I promise. Yeah. Right. <sighs> How we wanted to go to war. How foolish we were. Oh, I need a cigarette break. Nevertheless. All right, Mike. I shall friggin lenses are fogging up because it is friggin hot in here where I am It's like it's got to be like 80 90 something a group maybe 90 something degrees here in New York All right, I'm gonna take a couple of puffs I hate being addicted to cigarettes Such a nasty habit it's eventually it's probably gonna take my life. I know it. I'm gonna end up dead because of fucking lung cancer. Seems like a pretty good deal. Well, you know. The living is boring anyway, so. What the hell is wrong with you? Can't wait to see what's uh in the afterlife. If I don't end up in hell. God, why am I saying this shit? Can't wait to see you guys tonight. Bye guys. <laughs> Hold on. No. Is my cigarette bent? Get dude. Hold on one sec. It's slightly bent. Okay. Ah, here you go. Yeah, cigarette break. I'll edit this out later. <laughs> if I'm not too lazy. Ah, oh, never smoke when wearing a VR headset because the smoke is going to get under my friggin' visor and it's going to burn the shit out of my eyes. Alright, I gotta lift my visor up. All right, one last puff. Damn, I gotta dump out my freaking ashtray. It's full. Come on. All right. Here he goes. All right. My nicotine fix. I got my nicotine fix, or my nicotine craving is satiated. Let's do this. 
Ah, here we go. A letter from Frau Brugel. Brugel. Berlin, December 20th, 1918. Dear Frau von Schmidt, I have brought you some potatoes. You have always been kind to me and given me a little extra money. So I am glad to be able to do something for you in return. None of us has very much right now, but I, but I know it must be twice as hard for you. Please take care of yourself. I hope I may return to work for you again soon. Perhaps when the winter is over? Your friend, Ursula Bruegel. Kitchen work rota. Kitchen duty and house cleaning rota. There's a quota. The hell is it? Is that blood? It's so crazy. I'm looking at this shit up, up to my face. I could see the actual material of this friggin' of this drawer. You can see the grooves and the what do you call it? The texture lines and everything. That's amazing. Mother would lock herself in the music room for hours on end, but not today. You won't allow it. Yay, more reading. In my darkest hours. Oh boy. It is only music that saves me. Oh, you like music, huh? Is there a heart in the world that can my coochie pink, my booty hole brown? What did you just do? <laughs> Not be softened by it. But when Carl plays that terrible orchestrion and his father's music again, I feel sick. The walls crumble. And everything comes crashing down around me. It makes me want to die. But I know where he keeps the key. <laughs> Alright, collecting hints and documents. When you find documents that are relevant to completing a puzzle, you automatically collect them. You can reread them at any time in your inventory by pressing that, 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 whatever that button is. Other documents remain in the game world. You can reread them by simply interacting with them again. Read it. Oh, here you go. Oh, orchestra and repairs. Dear Director General, someone seems to have been playing around with your orchestra. Orchestrian. A number of parts have been deliberately removed. I have found the cylinder and installed it, but there is no sign of the missing cog. Likewise, the music roll of which you spoke of, of you, of which you spoke, is nowhere to be found. I have placed the key back into the chest in the entrance hall. We will now proceed with the installation of the elevator. Respectfully, Klaus Walters. scary up there. Hey, stop pushing! It's not my fault you're such a slow poke. And it's not my fault you can't do a boost up right. I've told you to you're not climbing in through the window. But you didn't open the door. Why not for ages? And no one answered. Oh, boys. Come on in then. But keep. 
keep the noise down. Your grandfather's sleeping. Yo, this place is pretty friggin' big. Alright, um... Let's see what's over here first. Oh. Ooh, basement. Chained. Locked. a weird reflection. Some glitching here. Yeah, the music is very beautiful in this. Newspapers containing lists of casualties. You don't want to read them. Pick it up. Pick up the matches. No. Matches. There we go. Yeah, that's the bad thing about playing this in VR. It's like, it's... You have to look at certain objects a certain way. And w when you think you're actually looking at it directly, you're... Te you're technically, you're not. Oh, I see a weird painting up there. Doctor's note, patient Magdalena von Schmidt, in order to treat your wife's pronounced hysteria or a melancholia, she must be spared any kind of emotional strain. She must avoid any object or persons that might trigger an episode. I recommend one injection every two days until her symptoms start to improve. Daily injections are recommended during more severe and melancholic phases. Dr. Drish, June 11, 1908. Yo, what the fuck? Oh my god, dude, that scared the crap out of me. That was like right in my ear, bro. <laughs> now you're wet too. Uh -oh. Stop splashing. Mama, he got water on me and now I'm all wet. Come and sit on the bank with me. There you go. Now, put your feet in the water. Nice and warm, isn't it? Warm and wet. <laughs> um... Look yeah. at the sailboats. They're so fast. I bet they're going to America. Oh, From America Ramsey, sucks. You don't want to come here. Aren't that big. Well, who knows? Maybe they'll find a way. They could sail down the harbor, then the Elba, and all the way to Hamburg. The gateway to the world. From there. Anything's possible. Painting him. When father saw the painting of himself for the first time, he said nothing. Not a word. Oh. Wait a minute. Who's that? Okay, I see. Yeah, that old dude looks weird, bro. Why is he walking like that? Alright, I think that is it. I'm gonna check out the second floor. At least I can run in this game. Oh 
come on. See? I'm looking right at it, but it's not registering. With the deepest there you go. We hereby report that the sons of our Director General and grandsons of the great General Lothar von Schmidt. Paul von Schmidt. Born 5th of March, 1899. And Johannes von Schmidt. Born 3rd of October, 1893. Have met their heroic deaths on the Western Front. May they rest in peace. Berlin, 12th of October, 1917. Karl von Schmidt and Co. Paint Factories. Picture you and your brother. Your gaze is drawn to the obituary alongside it. You fought and they just gave up on you. Oh, sounds familiar. The sweet scent of the red wax permeates the air. Oh, I could take candles? I didn't know that. The Kaiser called and we all answered with God in our hearts. Sympathy card. Sympathy card. My heart felt condolences on the loss of your two sons. Your friend, you Bruegel. Berlin, October Syringe and vial, Quicksilver, 10 milliliters, 10 milliliters. Carl von Schmidt and Company, paint factories. Come on, read it. I can't. Here you May go. May 25th, uh. 1916. Magdalena refuses to accept that both our sons have now taken up service in the name of the Kaiser and the people. This is madness. I never wanted to believe father, but perhaps he was right. Perhaps she cannot be helped. Ever since father came to stay with us nine years ago, she has changed completely. Whatever. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I don't know where to go. Uh, okay. Orchestrian, orchestrian repairs. Find the key. Find the key to open the I can't pronounce that friggin' word. Find the key to open the orchestrion and the missing pieces to turn it on. I placed the key back into the chest in the entrance hall. The entrance hall. Where's the entrance hall? Gonna have to backtrack.
Take it. I have a feeling I'm probably gonna need these damn candles. Letter about orchestrian hope. Dear General, but this orchestrian in the march we have sent, you will bring a small piece of the battlefield into your home for you and your family to enjoy so that you may also or you may always be reminded of both your own countless victories and those of our German forefathers. The orchestrian is the machine gun of the music world or the music world. It will solve all your problems in one fell swoop. Your brothers of the Order of the Red Eagle. Alright, where is that fucking key? It's locked, locked. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? Where do these scratches come from? Alright, I've read all this shit already, I think. Alright? Where's that circle code though? Alright, I read this. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no, no! Here we go. Pick it up! A pack of salt. Uh, salt? Uh-oh. Yeah. I have a feeling. Oh, man. Yeah, this game's gonna get pretty demonic soon. Yeah, the last game I played... That had salt in it is uh was pretty freaky. I forgot the name of the game, but I cannot play it. Not even flat screen. There's something about it just rubbed me the freaking wrong way. But yeah, if this game gets too friggin' demonic, I swear to God, I am. I'm not going to finish it. Then again, I don't finish most games, so. What do you call these things? A xylophone. What the hell? Dude, that sounds really eerie. I've seen all this shit. Bird cage. Ah, here we go. Nope. All right, something about a chest. Where is it? Um, I place a key back into the chest in the entrance hall. Where the frig is the entrance hall? I read all this crap. Alright, it's gotta be up here somewhere.
All right, I started from here. Yeah, I just started from here. Man, come on. Yo, I am friggin' lost. I bet you it's something so friggin' stupid. Something really stupid and minor that I'm completely overlooking. And the performance is getting bad. Why won't that go away? It says the sort of voice coughs. Yeah, I know. Mother would lock herself in. She sounds like a fucking nut job. Where's a chest? It's just something I'm completely overlooking. Wait a minute. Oh. oh. Yeah, this is locked though.
All right. Well, I'm I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I don't see a chest anywhere. I'm just running around in circles now. Beautiful looking game. Decent soundtrack. Oh, wait. This is it, isn't it? Fun. Fucking believable. Oh, you cocksucker. Uh, okay. That's not a good sign. Dude. This shit is scary. I thought I heard something breathing. Alright, where's that music thing? Here it is. Here we go. Take that. No. Nope. Okay. The cog goes here. Here we go. Oh, man. You... Look. Press it. No, oh, you dirty bastard. No, bro. Pre no, no, no. Open. Open. Good, man. Okay. Why aren't you... Press it. Oh, you bastard. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Dude. He won't, he won't do it. Son of a bitch. Fucking hell. Oh, fuck! Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, that is annoying. Stop it, please. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. That is obnoxiously loud. Oh, what? Do I get a bed? Can you stop that? Shut the fuck up. Thank you. God, that's annoying. Mama, is that you? Oh boy. Uh, yeah. A dummy. Oh, it's a dummy? It almost seems something. It almost seems he's watching you. Oh, you know damn well that ain't no fucking dummy. What's this? This time I felt him. It was as if my Johannes was standing next to me, placing his hand on my shoulder. Herr Dupre was right. With each session we are drawing closer, I can feel it. There has been a spate of strange coincidences. It is a sign. I have been working on the dummy again. 
I'm trying to fill it with life so that Johannes will accept it and finally return to me. Oh, hell no. I see where this is going. Yeah, I'm not liking where this is going, bro. Wait. Is that a phone? Where's that coming from? Ah. Okay. Pick it up. Thank you. Letter from the... Oh, the spiritualist. Wonderful. Dear Frau... Frau von Schmidt. Due to unpaid bills and your husband's threats of physical violence against my person, I regret to inform you that I will not be able to guide you through your spiritual session in person today. However, knowing how desperately you need the aid of the angelic powers in these dark times, I am enclosing a wax cylinder with my instructions and the invocation of the Angeloi. Hmm. In addition to this, please find enclosed silver candlestick holders. The consecrated pendulum which reacts sensitively to spiritual vibrations, particularly those of an evil nature, should still be in your possession from my last visit. I have taken the liberty of adding the cost for these items to your last outstanding payment. With you in spirit, N. Dupre. Yeah, I see where this is going. Great. What the f Okay. It's a ball. This is my ball, and don't you forget it! I just wanted to play with it. Get your own! But mine isn't red. You stubborn little so-and-so. All right, then. But make sure you bring it back. Promise? I promise. It's a phonograph. There's no wax cylinder inside. Oh, yeah. Frau von Schmidt. Please follow my words to the letter in order to ensure the success of your spiritual session. Oh, I am not feeling this, man. I'm gonna turn this shit off. This is some seance type shit, bro. My voice on the wax cylinder after each step until you have correctly completed the step in question. Begin. And placing the five silver candlestick holders I sent you on the table. Naturally, these have been blessed with holy water. away. Herr Dupre and I made use of the time to take a tour of the house. He didn't want to see the cuckoo. He believes me. When we entered the salon, he said he felt an icy chill right where the old tyrant died. He mm, er, er, shut up. Trumpet. Trumpet or a bugle. 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 Blah. All right, the reflections are. <coughs> Scar. Damn, I gotta stop smoking. <coughs> Sorry. 
the reflections are off. Some weird glitching here. Our family tree is taking root. A gift from Sainte Balbine among Carl's father's exotic plants. Sainte Balbine. A piece of my home. That's what the candles are for. Do you have the salt for the next step? Good. Oh. The consecrated pendulum will now show you the order in which you need to mark out the lines of the witch's foot between the candles. Oh, God, dude. Then mark out the lines with the salt. Once you have done this, we can proceed further. Oh, the satanic shit, man. The music, the music is annoying. What? I don't get it. Ah, oh, what the hell? The consecrated pendulum will now show you the order in which you need to mark out the lines of the witch's foot between the candles. It's a pentagram. Wonderful. What? Are here? I got a bad feeling about this, man. Once the sign is complete, you can light the candles. Mm -hmm. Tonight, 
Oh no 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 bro. Oh fuck this bro. Nah man. Don't. I'm gonna turn this off so Dude, I hear something breathing behind me. The wisdom of the old moon is with you. Join with me now to create an astral bridge, free from the bonds of time and space. I am with you now, Magdalena. There are shadows moving through this house. Ghostly entities and demons poison the souls of Oh, fuck this stuff. Why? Why am I doing this? Find among them the soul of the child. What? Find it and lead it to its mother. Lead it through the light and into our circle. How's this? Actually, according to Chinese uh, Eastern culture, like in China, red is actually bad luck. I think. Oh no. Okay, I'm done. That's it. Nope. 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 Oh, hell no, dude. Whoa, man. <laughs> oh, man. I, oh, I'm not liking this, dude. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn this off. What the hell is this? Wait. And that thing is gone. What is this, cum? It's all wet and shit. What? Oh, I am not liking this, man. Okay, I hear a phone. Where is this? Where the f Where's that coming from? 
No, it's not here. Where's that sound coming from? Okay, now it's... Now it's to the left of me. Now it's that one. Dude, where did I see a damn phone? Uh, I don't know. Alright, that's like a crucifix. Like, what the hell? Well, I gotta follow the cum stains, obviously. Oh man, I'm not liking this. Wait a minute. What's this? This wasn't here before. Yeah, that's a lot of cum. He must have been backed up. Oh, it's from coming from this area. Of course it is. There's a phone. I knew I saw it somewhere. Dude, I swear to freaking God, if something jumps out of me, I'm, I'm gonna pause the game and quit. I don't want to do this, bro. You know, playing in VR, is, it's... It just takes games to another, a whole other level, and... Yeah, man. I'm a scaredy cat playing horror games on regular, you know, like 2D flat screens. But like I said, man, this whole virtual reality shit, damn, damn... Those sounds don't... Damn, man. They don't make it easier. It really doesn't. What's this? It's a cum-soaked letter. I got no flashlight. Oh, man. 
seriously, bro. I don't. I never learn my lesson, bro. I just never. I never do. I'm like one of these retards, you know what I mean? That just it. Like the pure definition of what insanity is. You know, Einstein's definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. But nothing ever really changes. So that's what makes my personal situation or case particularly insane. And that is a lot of semen. Look at that. It's all over the floor. Do I want to do that? Da, da, da. Yeah, they want me to go in there. Ah, fuck it. Oh, I okay. I saw a autosave symbol. What's in the tub? Oh, of course, of course, of course, of course. All right, I'm gonna do anything and everything but look in the tub. How's that? Ah, of course not. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I have to trigger a certain scene. I get it. I get it, devs. I get it. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna read. Yeah, read. Read. Read the letter. Understand now. Oh, do you? Do you? This is all my fault. I don't deserve to live. I, I concur. I concur, lady. I concur. All right, well... I have no choice. I can't progress further until I do what the game wants me to do. All right. Follow the massive quantities and copious amounts of semen to the bathtub. Oh, it's a ball. I thought I saw someone's head. All right. It's a tub full of um, water, I guess. Yep. You want me to grab the ball? All right. Here it goes. Come on, jump scare. I'm ah, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Alright. I'm done. Hell no. So it went that way, so that means I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't go that way. I get it. I get it. Oh, devs, devs, devs. I have to play by your rules. Unfortunately, I'm not really good at following rules, which is why I am in the predicament I am in today in terms of my life and my progress or lack thereof. Let's put it that way. Oh, damn, man. Graphics are nice, though. Screen space reflections look off. Oh, more reading, of course. Of course, of course. Those weren't soldiers in the church. I'm sure of it. I heard the screams of women when our gas shells hit. The others say I'm imagining things, but I know what I heard. I think Rosala knows, too. 
He was the one who fired the shells, and his face was as white as chalk afterward. I shall go and look tonight. I need to know for sure. All right, I am seeing double. What the hell? All right, you know what? I'm gonna try. Hmm. Got a real. The game's gonna crash probably, but you know, good excuse for me. That means I don't have to play the game. Synchronized. Yeah, and they, yeah, game froze. Ha! Game froze. All right, that is it, everybody. I found the perfect excuse to not play this game. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye.